Welcome to another video review, and this time we're going to be taking a look at the Tron Legacy Kevin Flynn core figure. Part of Series 1 of the new uh, Tron Legacy figures made by Disney and by Spin Master. Uh, you got a nice picture here of uh, Jeff Daniels. The, the figure doesn't really look like him. I mean, it kind of, I guess, kind of, sort of-ish. Maybe, I don't know. Um, but... I mean, it's overall not too terrible bad. You flip around here on the back, and one thing that kind of bugs me is the, the read-up on him. It says that Kevin Flynn, the original architect of Tron, which isn't true. Uh, I forgot the guy's name, but in the original Tron movie, it was somebody else. He didn't, he didn't create the Tron program, uh, but he was transported into the virtual world he created over 20 years ago. Although he succeeded in freeing Tron City from the control of the MCP, he was never heard from again until now. All right, well, they kind of got that wrong, but you see that he's a light-up figure, and uh, looks like his uh, little bit right here lights up, which we'll get to. Fully articulated, comes with his various contents. He has this, which I can't get pulled out, so I don't exactly know, and it's not coming out. I don't exactly know uh, why they left that in there, because you can't, you can't try it. You can't squeeze it or push it or whatever and have it work, so... Uh, I, I, I'm not entirely sure. So, there's the packaging. Overall, not too terribly bad, but let's get the guy open and see how cool he actually is. Okay, guys, so here we have the Kevin Flynn figure open up and out of its packaging. And you know what? It's actually not a very bad-looking figure. I was kind of put off by it initially, but it's an overall decent-looking figure, and I, I do actually enjoy it. Now, in terms in terms of the price, these, these are going to range from... Depending on what store you get them from, they're going to range from uh, 7 to $10. They are available in stores right now. They've been seen, they've been spotted, they've been bought in stores. One thing that is kind of annoying, here's his instructions. This is literally how they come in the package, just wadded up in this little ball. And watch this. Up. Watch this. You unfold it. You unfold it some more. I mean, this is like an origami thing. That... This, it's, it's really quite stupid. I mean, it's, it, it's, it's all in a different language, and it's basically uh, how to change the batteries and how to actually activate the, fig activate the figure itself. This is really a waste, if you ask me. I mean, just really stupid. The figure himself, though, like I said, is actually really nice. He comes with a couple other accessories that I'm going to show you. First off, he comes with a display stand that uh, has some really nice molded detail inside of it to make it look very much like his ID disc. Uh, pretty nice. It actually has two pegs on there so you can actually swap out how you want to have them to actually stand. If you want to, he does have two holes on the bottom of his feet, so if you squeeze them together, you can get them standing on there, but it kind of bends the, the figure, which, eh, it's not that great. Comes with a white handheld ID disc, which really kind of looks like a, a mint <laughs> more than anything else <laughs> like a lifesaver mint or something like that and he comes with uh his baton now the baton actually is used to summon the light cycle which i'll bring in because this is the kevin flynn light cycle so i might as well have it but uh the, he you hold on to it and we saw this in the original movie you hold on to it and the actual bike forms around this so it's really kind of cool the figure itself doesn't really look like Jeff Daniels. I'll be I'll be honest. Uh, I probably I would have liked to have a little bit more facial hair up on there. Um, if you look at this picture right here, you can see that he's got a lot of facial hair up on the on the side of his cheek. I probably would have liked it on this. This makes it look a little bit neater, um, and that's really kind of eh. So just set that right back there. Like it's like a, di a display. <laughs> uh, his articulation wise, his head goes left and right. It kind of moves up and down, not too terribly much. Goes in and out at the shoulder. It rotates at the upper part of the shoulder, so you can get it going like that. Bends at the uh, the elbow, rotates at the elbow. But you can't. I don't get, and, and I don't want to do it too much. But you probably actually do have wrist articulation. Um, but it's really stiff on mine, and I don't want to overdo it, so I'm going to probably try the actual freeze and then unfreeze trick. Um, his waist, uh, I don't, he doesn't really have anything in terms of waist. I can't really tell. But his legs move forward and back. They're on that really stupid uh, joint that's very much like the Iron Man figures. 
So it's really kind of annoying, but he bends at the knee, rotates at the knee, and his feet are, uh, you know, they can pivot and do all that fantastic stuff. A very nice looking figure. He's, he's barefoot, but I really do kind of like the way he looks. He does have his feature here on the back, which one thing that I, I wish it would happen, if you look on the back, he has what looks like his ID disc on the back. I really wish that you could actually take this and put this on there and have it store on there, but it just falls right off. It, I mean, it sits on there. I mean, you could have it sit, but it falls off and, and that's rather unfortunate. But if you push the little button right there, this little section here will light up. And it stays on for quite a long while. However long that was, I didn't actually time it. But it's actually a really nice light-up feature. One of the biggest, coolest things that I liked about this was the fact that, you know, you had the light cycle. This is where things get a little bit disappointing because this figure, I can't get to fit in this thing. Um, you got to put his legs up. There's, this, this is how it's actually supposed to be. Bring his hands forward. And I really think it has to do with the actual shoulder bits right here. Because you fit them in here like so. And then he's supposed to hold on there. But I can't get that really... Oh, now, now it's actually going to do it. Oh, well, son of a gun. <laughs> Alright, I guess that's not too bad then. And then you close that. And you have him riding around, riding around in his light cycle. You push the little button right there. Or again, if you push the figure down... Um, which is actually in a rather interesting spot. Um, it's in his crotch area. You push it down and that turns on or you, and you can turn that light on and you can see him glowing inside there. So I actually got him to fit and I didn't think I would. So it actually makes me like it a little bit more. But you do have to finagle him a little bit. You have to kind of squeeze these to get him to clear past this white, clear pl or white plastic and get his hands pushed down there fairly well. Um, he actually should be holding that, so push that down there. And let's see, when you do that, it makes it a little bit more difficult to get it to close. So, he can't really hold onto the handles. So just kind of push them down below. And, now we'll see, now he's being a little finicky again. There we go. So, um, he's in there. It's a little snug fit, but he's actually in there. So, really cool now, now that I've actually figured it out. I'm actually really kind of impressed that I'm able to get him to fit inside of it. Uh, it's a really nice figure. I really do like him. Uh, it's not as detailed as I was kind of hoping for, but they're, you know, they're the three and three quarter inch scale. So, I mean, what can you expect, really? Uh, a couple little nitpicky things, such as the ID disc. I wish it would, you know, store kind of on the back. But overall, not too terribly bad at all. Really like this figure. I highly recommend them. If you like Tron, you're going to really like this this set. You know, it's cheaper. Like I said, you're going to be paying between, you know, 7 and $10 for it. But it's a 3 and 3 quarter inch figure that also lights up. So, I mean, and that, that's actually really a really pretty bright light. You guys know how much light I use. So, highly recommend this figure. If you get him or you get that, you kind of get got to get both of them together. So, thank you for tuning in, guys. Until next time, this has been Optobotomus. I'll talk to you later.